Tell him he's good. In the Perth Hills, well a taste of country life for these city dogs. Two-year-old Vader is having trouble settling into well suburban life. Teaching him to herd sheep might seem well, counterintuitive, easy, easy, but easy. Kelly Thatcher is hoping the control lessons learnt here will make Vader easier to live with. They constantly need like that mental stimulation and that's what this does for them. It, it fulfills a part of their instinct and can make them a little bit more settled. For a growing number of urbanites, smart, good-looking working dogs make attractive companions. But without something to do, they're easily bored, develop anxieties, become antisocial and then end up in dog pounds. That's it, well done. He's a dog that needs stimulation, whether it's physical or mental. On that side. So if you're not giving them that stimulation, they're destroying your couch, they're destroying your yard, they're digging holes, they're jumping the fence. Yes. He's frustrated. Vader also attends therapy sessions at Murdoch University to help him and owner Kelly find ways to keep his mind active and his anxieties in check. Generally they are high drive dogs, so they need, um, they need lives that are fully enriched, but not just with physical exercise. So they, especially when they're living urbanly, they need uh, the mental enrichment. I know exercise is good, but if you get them really fit, you've still got a fit idiot. You haven't got a dog that's intelligent using its mind. So train its mind, and that's my advice to people that are looking at those working breeds. Think about it for a few months. They're readily available. There's lots of them around, but in the wrong hands, it's pretty cruel. Smart thinking for a woman's best friend. Mark Bennett, ABC News, Albany.